so in this video now part 5 of pandas now we going to learn how to work with that missing data so where all we have so now again i will go ahead and import that first pandas then i am importing that library or uh, sorry csp file that i will share you again and now same line uh, data set i am using it here so it is playing that top five rows so there is one function that called is null so is null what going to search where all we have an n value so for those it's going to display as true okay so as we know whenever we will work on those record uh, try to put our uh, letter point of time or a uh, all allowed them to find that how it's going to work and the other things that we going to learn later so that time we have to take care of null value so we may be replaced with different things so first thing we need to check that then we can use that is null function to check that where all it's true and false so we can get that in this way or else other way is that if you put that sum so it's very difficult right now i have 150 rows but still we cannot see here and we cannot go one by one and see okay it's true and false and how to understand so now we can go ahead and run that is null dot sum so if we run this one what it's going to do for each column it's going to display that how many null columns we have null values in that column so for this one zero for this one two for this three so we have that now other term we don't have null value so now we got to know we have null value then we have to take care of that null value so now for thing we can replace with any value so now one function is that fill n if i put that fill n and zero so we can see that that if you go and third index Third index or if where id equals to four, now it's replaced with zero dot zero. Here as well, it's replaced zero dot zero. Yeah. So now here we can see that we have null value here as well null value. So those two we can see that in header five. So both of them it's now replaced with that zero dot zero. So now second question came when we try to replace that with zero why it's coming zero dot zero in float type so reason behind now that type of this is now float that's why it's going to convert this one from integer to float so if you're not aware how to see that data type and all the other things then i will recommend you to go and watch that second uh, videos of part two of pandas then you will understand that how to check that data type Due to that, it's displaying zero dot zero now, but it's not make sense if we replace it with zero. If we try to get that some output, it's not going to make that work for us. So, what I can do, I can do that fad as well. So, what it's going to do, whatever we have previous value, it's going to replace with that. But if no previous value, it's going to it's going to leave as it is. Okay, so there are different different methods that we are now going to learn. So one of them is method equals to pad. We can do and what it's going to do. We understand it here now. Different thing is that now I wanted to fill specific to one column and then provide that value. Each column I wanted to fill different value. So for this column I wanted to fill that mean whatever mean we have. I wanted to fill in that where all we have null value. Then we can see that mean is coming this much, and it's going to replace with this one. And it's this mean we put that fill n a df dot fill n a. So what it's going to do? Fill n a of df type we are doing. Then it's going to replace for entire data set with which value? So this column mean. So that's why we can see here five dot eight dot four and all. It's replaced with here as well because we fill that. Only one value and that length of mean of this uh, column. Similarly, if we need that now, if I wanted to fill only for a specific column, which one mean I am taking, then I need to use that df and then that column name, then fill in. Then it will only work for a specific column. 
if we not specify this column name then it's going to work for the entire data set whatever we have rest all are same now i added here in place equals to true so that region we had if i go ahead and do that one more plus and then if i try to print that df dot head so you see still after replacing also with some of those mean value it displaying an n there are no value so region band that we try to print it here but we have not updated back to our data frame so so to update it back to our data frame we need to use that in place it was to true so if i go ahead and execute it so now it's executed successfully if i print that df of 85 so you see that mean is replaced by for this column and this column is still null because we have not updated for all those entire data set only for one column i have updated so similarly here i put that mean so this column also i try to update with the mean okay so it's updated here it displaying but since i not even here in place it was to true so if i go ahead and run it still this one is displaying an n so not only mean we can replace with that median mode and some other there are too many things that we can based on our uh, data set and what we need we can go ahead and we can execute it and we can replace with that so now this time when i put that in place it was to true with that median then i saw that I, we can see that now it's got replaced with that 3 so 3 is that median for this one so if you are not aware of that mean median and mode you can go ahead and watch my other videos where i will explain that uh, mean median mode i'm going to create that one more uh, playlist sorry one more video there i will explain that all those the mean median and mode and how to calculate that uh that's all for this video please let me know if you have any question thank you